Hey guys, how are you? This is Jim Miner, your South Scottsdale Realtor, bringing you the week ending Cromford report, which is prepared by Michael Orr. And this is for March 30th. Three months have gone already. Hey, let's jump right into this. Some real good stuff has been put in here. First off, let's take a look at the dashboard, which we always do. And here we go to see what's been going on. Here's the overall market. And we see the dashboard right here. Not a whole lot has changed, as you can see. Let's take a quick peek at the demand because that's one we're interested in. Now, look. Here's where we started out, and here's where we ended up. So, slight improvement in demand, but you know what? Hey, we'll take it. Let's take a quick look at supply and see what's going on with that line. It continues to grow. Supply is the supply meaning of uh, available homes for sale. Okay, so you can see that the uh, that the market is. Eh, let's call it essentially unchanged for the week okay but a little bit of an uptick in demand that's good but hey let's get to some real interesting stuff I'm going to switch over click on to a different page here and here we go March 29th now I'm not going to sit here and read this to you because obviously everybody knows how to read however want to point out a couple things in here it says right here that overall demand is no longer falling, but it is not rising much either. We will need to see a much more forceful increase in demand to get us back out of this buyer's market and into balance again. Okay, I think that's really crucial. And if you look up here, it says that active listings show us that 2014 is already proving to be a weak year for sellers, which means strong year. For buyers strong in the sense of being able to negotiate a little bit better price okay and what Michael has included right here and I'll scroll down so you can capture this is the price range days inventory average days inventory highest active count notice the years here current active count number of homes available and lowest active count for when it occurred okay and then I want you to be able to finish reading this area right in here that um, uh, so you get a sense of what the projection is for the rest of the year basically a downslope. Uh, things can change. We have had that slight uptick uh, in the um, uh, demand. So you might read that as a little bit of a modest uh, good thing. However, folks, let's break this all down. What's it all mean to those of us uh, out in the field? Okay, it means this still a buyer's market. Buyers have the upper hand. Buyers negotiate. Okay, sellers. Once again, do not try and get that price from last July. It's just not going to happen. You're wasting your time, days on market, watching the market soften up, and you may even get a lower price. Price your home with the market. Get a few good offers. Take the one you like. Take your money. Go out and buy the next home. That's the way to do it in this market. Okay? It is not a seller's market. All right. That's about it for this week. This is Jim Miner, your South Scottsdale Realtor. And we're wrapping up the end of the week and the end of the month and the end of the quarter for 2014. Hey, I'll see you folks midweek, okay? Give me a buzz. If you have any questions, you want to see something further in detail in the report, 602-345-0433. Have a nice day.